graphing a parabola of the form y equals a times x minus h quantity squared plus k. We want to graph, um, find the method for graphing this parabola easily. And what's nice is this parabola form is known as vertex form. We call it vertex form because we can easily identify the vertex. We want to find h and k based off of our formula. <clears throat> that's how they have vertex. And h goes first because that's with x. And x is always first in our ordered pairs. So how do we find h? Well, our value inside the parentheses is x minus h. So we want to take x minus h and set it equal to the value that's inside of the problem we're given, which is x minus 4. So we're trying to find h. So we're going to minus x from both sides. And doing that makes these values um, sum to 0. And so we have negative h equals negative 4. And then we need it to be positive. So we just need to do the opposite. And that's handled by dividing by negative 1. So h is now positive 4. So we know that h will be 4. And k is read by looking at the value behind the um, x squared section and k will be 3. So now we know our vertex value is at 4, 3. So what we're going to do is take our xy table, and remember that the vertex is in the middle. So 4 and 3 is the y value. We'll be right there. So we need to go to the right and to the left of um, 4, 3. So 4, 3 is here. And I know that this parabola um, is going to be opening downward. And I know that because this value right here tells me it's negative. So my parabola needs to open down and it needs to be stretched. It's going to be um, skinny because this value in front here is uh, larger than uh, larger than. <laughs> one. So values to the right of four, we're going to have a five and a six. So I need to calculate uh, the function at five and the function at six. So we're going to take negative two, replace the x with five and minus four squared plus three. So we have negative two times one squared plus three. One squared is one. One times negative two and then add 3 gives us 1. Plug in 6 for our x value. So now we have negative 2 times 2 squared plus 3. Again, 2 squared is um, 4 times negative 2, negative 8. And we're going to, sorry about that, add 3. And we're going to have negative 5. So we'll go ahead and plot those values. So we're going to be at 5, 1. And then we need to plot 6, negative 5. Again, from before, we can use the um, axis of symmetry, which is down the middle through our vertex. And so now that we know our axis of symmetry, we can take the point on the right, which is one away from the axis of symmetry, and move it one um, to the left of the axis of symmetry. Then our second point is two away from the axis of symmetry. So we're going to move two to the left of the axis of symmetry and plot our points and graph our parabola. Okay, our next parabola uh, we need to graph uh, is three times the quantity of x plus 7 squared plus 1. Again, we want the vertex, since it's in vertex form. And how I know that, again, it's got the parentheses squared, um, and then it's got a value at the end. So, again, I'm going to take x plus 7, set it equal to x minus h. Since we're finding h, we remove the x's, and now we have 7 equals the opposite of h. And so, again, the value inside of here is always opposite. So it looks like positive 7, but it's actually negative 7. And so now my vertex is at 
negative seven and one. So I know with my a value being equal to three, I'm going to stretch this graph so it's gonna get really skinny. And it's also gonna open upward. So I'm gonna have a stretched graph and it's going to be opening upward. So I'm gonna take my x, y table, place negative seven, one for the vertex. And then we need to move to the right and to the left. So negative seven to the right, we'll have a negative six and a negative five to put into our function. So negative three, excuse me, positive three times six, negative six plus seven squared. And then we're adding one. So now we'll have three times one squared plus one. So one squared is one times three makes this be three plus one, which is four. Now we need to plug in negative five for x. So we have negative five plus seven squared and then add one. And we have three times two squared plus one. And now we have four times three, which is 12 plus one. And we're gonna have 13. And so you can see that these values, these y values keep getting um, spread out. So now we'll go ahead and graph. So we'll go ahead and pick our pencil. We need to plot negative seven and one. We got negative six, four. And then we're asked to plot negative 5, 13. So again, we'll use that axis of symmetry. Um, I'll draw it in, but you need to visualize it through the vertex. So then um, since we have a point two to the right of the vertex, axis of symmetry, we're going to go two to the left and make it symmetrical. And then this point here, which is one to the Right, we're going to move it one to the left of the axis of symmetry and draw in our parabola. And um, that's how we graph uh, parabolas in vertex form. We look for the vertex and then calculate um, two values to the right or the left. It doesn't matter. And then we um, plot using the axis of symmetry. Again, um, if you would rather, you could have plugged negative 8 into the function. And once you did that, you would have also gotten four and then plugged in negative nine to the function. And after you've done the calculations, you would have gotten 13 because two to the right and two to the left, the y values are the same for all parabolas of the when you go um, make the vertex your center.